welcome back. Ooh, welcome back. Ah, welcome back. Hey, welcome, welcome. I welcome, I welcome, I welcome. Ooh. <laughs> welcome back, Zion family. Welcome back. Welcome Did you miss back. Us? Did you miss us? Because we missed y'all. Did, Did you miss us? Because we miss missed y'all. Miss Every single one. Like Every thousands. single last one of you guys. We miss Like thousands of y'all. We love you. Love you guys. Like, love you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough of that. All right, we're being a little extra, but we got to be extra <laughs> to get you all excited, you know? So, and like the best channel on youtube okay she then you know already so we're the best channel on youtube so let them know <laughs> you throwing stuff at people now that's what we do mm. it's supposed to be like a decoration mm. like flowers like okay with like the decorations. a picture uh, okay yes ma'am all right so if you're watching for the for first, first time, time my name is youth pastor kareen i am a past youth pastor at apostolic Triumph for church international and this is my youtube channel zion train okay and introduce yourself my name is leona i wanted to be on this channel for so long and i finally get to do it so if you did not see the last two videos that we did mm -hmm. the last tuesdays Make so sure you go, go watch, watch them, them after this video thank you make sure you watch all of them because they're just there waiting for you to watch them okay don't have them waiting yes so like she said this is leona my niece she's being she's gonna be here with me for about a month right two months two months yes so she'll be here in all of my videos so yeah and you guys don't forget to subscribe hit that little bell more importantly share share share, share, share. <laughs> yes okay make sure you do those things please and thank you and and and, and we post we every post. single <laughs> Thursday. okay so you make sure you follow up with us every tuesday make sure you follow up with every us every tuesday, tuesday. Make sure every tuesday day, every, every tuesday. tuesday yeah 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 <laughs> Okay. Uh, Ooh, okay, ma'am. We post every single Tuesday, like we said already. already. Okay, okay. So, guess what's about to start? The video. In five, five four, three, two, one. Hey, you guys. Welcome back okay so i'm about to just hop right into it so in this video i'm going to be talking to you guys about how trying to fill a void can lead to us entering into toxic relationships let me give you all some examples so one example i can use is how most of us or some of us sometimes go through or have experience growing up without a father in the home i know for me personally this is what i've experienced not that i didn't have my father in my life entirely as a whole no i definitely i know my father to this day my dad my father has been in my life but growing having him in the home that i missed out on that i didn't have because he, my mother and my father were not together so um for me that left a void in me when it comes to giving that love that affection that attention that i should have gotten from my father i liked that and so because because i liked that i found myself going out and trying to get that love looking for that love looking for that attention looking for that affection that i was missing and that i didn't have that foundation i didn't have um from within the home not that i didn't get any love i got abundance from my mom i got abundance from other family members but 
to say that I got it from my father, that first example, that, you know, that first male figure that that was supposed to set that foundation of what love looks like, what love feels like, how love's supposed to be demonstrated when it comes to that male figure that I didn't get, I didn't have. And because it was missing, that void was in me. I was doing everything possible to be able to fill that void. And in doing so, I didn't notice that I was doing doing that. It's now reflecting back that I'm able to see that that's what I was doing. And um, another example I can give is how um, is loneliness, you know, the void of loneliness. A lot of us, a lot of us, I see that we get into relationships because we don't want to be lonely. We don't like to deal with ourselves. Personally, I can't really say that's a thing for me because I actually like, <laughs> I enjoy spending time by myself. Um, Being lonely is not a problem for me, but I know even though that's not a problem for me, I know a lot of people deal with that. A lot of people aren't okay with being alone. They can't deal with being alone and because they don't want to be alone, they find themselves entering into entering into relationships or, or entertaining certain people just because they're trying to avoid or fill that void of being lonely. Uh, the next thing I kind of wanted to mention was um, rejection. This is one of the biggest ones. And personally, for me, this is one of the things for me as well. A lot of us experience rejection in a lot of forms. Uh, one of the major ways has been um, what I noticed has been in school, you know, Kids are mean, <laughs> and, and I'm not trying to be funny, but it's honest. But all throughout elementary, middle school, high school, you just see that spirit of rejection just flowing through, or just flowing and just getting worse generation after generation when it comes to society and just how kids are and how people are in school is just. Um, if you don't, if you don't act a certain way, be a certain way, talk a certain way, you don't fit in. You don't get to hang out with certain people, and that's a form of rejection. And then people get that not only in school, but maybe at certain jobs and with certain family members. And you know, whenever a person is rejected, they're longing, they're longing to fill that void of. A, a void of acceptance they want to feel accepted and a lot of times i see that people use relationships to fill that void of acceptance and they want to feel accepted they don't want to be rejected so they will settle for anything just to fill that void of of not feeling rejected wanting to feel accepted and i want to say if any one of the things i mentioned you see yourself in rise up rise up say enough is enough stop wasting your time stop wasting your time you have a bright future ahead of you that Jesus wants you to manifest. And you're there allowing the enemy to use that toxic person, that toxic relationship to waste your time to hold you back. But you know what? It ends right now. Because, see, I'm about to allow the Holy Spirit to use me to activate his spirit, his power on the inside of you. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I speak to your spirit. And I command your spirit to be amplified right now in the name of Jesus. I command the supernatural power of God to begin to fill your spirit right now in the name of Jesus. And I command you to rise up. I command the fire of God that is inside your belly to begin to burn like never before. I command you to get, to get mad in the spirit, mad in the spirit, so that you can be able to uh, come against the enemy and the way that he is using this toxic relationship toxic person to hold you down to pull you down to tie you down to delay your journey in god to delay your the the manifestation of the will of god in your life I bind the attack of the enemy over your mind. Anywhere where the enemy is, is manipulating you and using the person that you are in a relationship with to manipulate you, causing you to stay in that toxic mess. I break that spirit. I 
break the power. I bind the power of that spirit right now in the name of Jesus. I send Holy Ghost fire begin to consume that spirit right now in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus all over your mind right now in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus over your mind, over your spirit, over your soul right now in Jesus' name. I declare freedom to begin to take place. I declare freedom begin to manifest over you and in this situation right now in the name of Jesus. I come against that stronghold. This stronghold that the enemy is using. I come against it right now in the name of Jesus. Every void, I command that void to be filled. Listen, you, a person cannot fill any void. People, situations, little substances, we, listen, these things cannot fill any type of void. These things are creation. People is a creation. The only thing that can fill a void is God because he's the only one that can do it. That's how he created us. We are meant to depend on him and not people or anything else of that nature. So stop trying to allow a, 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 a relationship or a person to fill the void. God is the only one that can fill any void that you have. So I speak to every lie that the enemy has told you and I uproot every lie right now in the name of Jesus. I cast it down. I command it to go under your feet right now in the name of Jesus. I command, I command you to reign victorious over this situation right now in the name of Jesus. I declare that you are free. I declare that this is a new life, a new beginning for you right now in the name of Jesus. I declare restoration over your mind, spirit, heart, and soul right now in the name of Jesus. I speak to the destiny that God has in store for you, and I command it to resurrect in the name of Jesus. That 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 dead destiny that was once not living, I command it to come alive right now in the name of Jesus. And I command you to spring forth into what God has possessed for you while you are on this earth. I command you to rise up, rise up in your authority, rise up in your dominion that Jesus has died for you to have. In Jesus' mighty name, you are free and you must walk in it. And I command in the name of Jesus that God begin to bring people in your life that will help you to come out of that toxic relationship. That will help you, help you, to, that will help you to stay accountable for better, for you walking into better in your life. In Jesus' name, amen. You all right? You screaming hard, girl. You all right? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So you made we it to the made end. It to the bed. Just gonna come here. I'm like that. That's not funny. Anywho, thank you guys for making it all the way to the end of the video. Honestly, I really, I really do appreciate it. You could be doing anything else, but you took the time out to watch my video and you watched the whole thing. So for that, I am grateful. I am thankful. Continue to follow follow and, and subscribe and watch all of my videos okay and i just want to remind you that we upload every single tuesday so tune in next week tuesday for another video okay you guys and if you're watching for the first time and you didn't see this in the beginning of the video don't forget to subscribe hit that little bell most importantly share share share, share, share. Right. okay and we will see you guys next, next week, week tuesday, tuesday. bye, bye.